2004, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA Grand Challenge, offered a $1 million prize to the team that could program an automated vehicle to be the first to complete a 150-mile race through the California desert. This contest attracted 195 teams from 36 states and four countries. It prompted fierce competition, inspiring moments, compelling rivalries, and a dramatic win by the team from Stanford University. Reflecting on the inspiration and excitement from this competition, Stanford's team leader, Sebastian Thrun, co-founder of Google's self-driving division, Waymo, called on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and Energy Systems Network to create a modern-day successor. With Thrun's call to action, Energy Systems Network held a workshop at the IMS on May 23, 2019, as the first step in what is becoming the Indy Autonomous Challenge. For me, the most challenging and interesting aspect of the race day is going to be able to see a fully autonomous race car driving literally at the edge of its control and traction. Now, addressing these problems at 200 mile per hour type of speed is going to be really going to bring the technology to a completely different level. Showing that that can happen at high speeds on a racetrack is one step forward to showing the public that this is a viable technology for the future. It's the speeds, the processing power, the timing of things, millisecond decisions and millimeters uh, make the difference. This is a challenge that's completely outside of the box, something that our students would never have seen before at the level that we're trying to accomplish. There's a lot of people working on you know, autonomous vehicles, and a lot of great implementations and all, but the whole high speed aspect is new and, and it's hard. It's gonna be a good challenge. A competition for the new era that could galvanize university research, inspire students' pursuit of engineering and other sciences, advance the deployment of life-saving vehicle technologies, and change how the public views automated vehicles. They did all the, the moon work 50 years ago and how those technologies aided. I look at the high speed, it's doing the same thing. Automotive technology is born on the racetrack. The idea of developing that technology here at Indy and through racing is a, is a perfect fit.